first, we will be tackling about for this week massing. Nadjud sa baba, gubuta <laughs> with sight, basic group style, fascia or fascia, and gutter, plus the complicated group styles through massing. So, dapat unahon ng pinakataas. It's just a glitch sa tong PowerPoint. So, kani ato mga exercises for today. We have the different kinds of roofs, which is the basic ones, the shed, the gable, the hip, Dutch gable, extension, um, so ito, half hip. Plus, we will add gutters on it and magbuat na putag site na to. Okay, for the first one, we will tackle about the basic roof styles. So, you should practice each and every um, roof na naa. Okay, let's start. I go and open a new project. New. And then click OK because I have the template already. So I'm currently in the front elevation, so I'll go to ground floor plan. So the ground, I make maybe walls. Para light tinduga na ato ang roof. I'll check um, level two until level two one, and my base will be level one. Okay. So approximately maybe. A normal house, let's say, by eight and up. Then a copy that. Okay, the gun the roof na what one? Okay, for the first one, shed. So I'll go to the roof. Roof by footprint, and it will ask you. You have created the roof on the lowest level. Would you like to move it to level two? You should always say yes. Or if not, you buhat na like ceiling line, na level, you can put it there. Okay, drama na start sa roof. For me, level two na lang sa akin. So lahat na ako di tarong ako ang mga levels. So if you have yours, which is ato ang PA two. Then do that. Click yes. Then for my properties, I chose maybe kanina lang so 125 mm thick na roof, but it depends on you. Okay, you can edit your material. You can edit always how thick your roof is. The same as you edit your walls, it's the same. So for the shed type, since rectangular lang siya, I'll choose this. Um, drawing pattern rectangular one and then i would just type an offset of 1.2 meters which is my ideal eaves uh, overhang dimension okay this is my personal um, offset ha? you can always choose yours then if mag click na kaana, you'll just draw from the walls and automatic na mag offset there. So na natay 1.2 and you can be sure of that if I type the di and the center line and center line mo ko so one three sa so tama lang. Okay. Then kung shed ang ato ang gusto, press escape. Um, this one, if you can see this right triangle na sign, meaning it means define slope. Naka check siya here. So if you don't want that to be sloped, then uncheck it. Okay. So for example, it is only a shed, so it's only um, one part of the roof na can be na ka define slope only here, because what it, what it will do is, isa lang ang naka-angle. Ka na ang meaning sa defined slope. 
So if you're happy with that, let's just check. Then, if you can see some ground floor, you cannot see the roof. So I'll go to 3D view to check if my roof is there. See, so high. Now, if you have this kind of problem, this is not a problem actually, normal lang siya. Always pull it down para maano ni mo ang, madrag ni mo ang slope or the angle. Or, if I press undo, I go against the ground floor plan, then, oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. I go first here, double click the roof. And go sa ground floor, kasi mag-highlight naman siya, although di ni mo makitaan ang view sa roof because naamang sa ground floor. The cut line is down tayo. So, kana, pabalik ta diri. Then, you can just click this and edit the, the slope. Normally, sa shed, um, my preferred is 10. 10 below. Or gamay lang na tilt, that's fine with me. Then click check. Then pag mo click mo check, wala na siya. You can always view this a 3D. Then there. Nanakai shed. Then how will you connect the walls? Just click all the wall. Click all the walls using control to add. Or click tab para mag select siya all. Then attach to top. Click that, then click the roof there. So not that it. If you want to change your thickness, you can always do that from whichever tilt your boat. Shed is good now for the gable. So gable, mapaunsa mo kita ng roof of roof plan. You can always go to site development plan. You can check your roof there. Okay. So, balik mo ko sa ground. So, sa ground, I'll make again a roof by footprint using gable. Level 2, yes. Then, the same thing. Then, make sure your offset is there. It. and don't press check just press escape twice then kung asa tong nasa, naka slope um, just leave it checked na define slope so kaning duha nga area dere this is not sloped okay so that's it click check when you check it go to your 3d again then your gable is here and your thickness if you want to there and attach this one i'll pre-select press tab once and we select all then attach the top base there next next to practice is the hip pinaka 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 easy it will take you not less than five seconds, maybe. Except for Mokamali. Like me. One, two. And, and all of it is defined slope. Can I slope on hip in a loop? Let me see your 3D. There. And don't forget to att attach the base to the top. But I'm sure there. Next, oh, let's change it to 400. I don't know how you know. So, next, I'll go to the ground floor, copy my walls for exercise. Long money, it will not copy the roof, guys, because I'll be simple on the parts. Is um, Check the site develop there. See, wala niya na copy. Next is a little bit complicated. Mm, it's a month. 
table plus extension. So let's add an extension to wall. Split elements, then trim. There. So right now, draw a roof. Anything. There are lots of different ways to draw the roof. But I'll come on the ballot mug. And whichever is the fastest one. Then I split the elements. Mga neron. Ah. I said to get, but delete yeah. there. Perfect. Then the tricky part is um ko asa ang mga sloped part and the great slope. So that's why I want you to practice para makabalug yun yun kung asa ang mga dapat wala. Oops. You can always select all of them. Delete slope. And there. Uh, let me check. Oops, where are they check? There. Select attach top links. Of course, you can have different styles. If you have leaves na gusto, which is majorly so that in tropical country, you can. Next, what else? Dutch gable. Dutch gable. Yeah, tama. This is my favorite passive cooling roof. I applicable to the second country. Same thing. One, two. And oops. Yeah. That is our outer roof. Whereas katong gable sa taas, that's why it's called Dutch gable, okay, na as a gable on top, I will have another space inside. Um, I offset na lang po na po, pero sa sulod. Press space bar. There. Then I'll select. The roof lines inside, then uncap the de defined slope, meaning flat lines as a solution. So, what the, it means is that na I hollow void, there is a git na, then I slope na hip roof sa gawas. So, if I check it, you can see that 3D looks like this. There. There's another mga like which there are because of the Angle, really, can I say, I'm going to go to the angle. I'm going to go to So, maybe I can just edit here like this. For the purpose of teaching. And after that, check me for enough. After that, I will not double click this one, I will not edit, but rather I'll add another roof. Okay. Add another roof. Level two, but then we'll just change the elevation later. Then I will not add any offset because my roof is up until here long man. Then define slope. Check. That is a site development plan. So if it goes to 3D, it will look like this. So normally the best way to do this is go to your ground floor plan. Um, get a section line. Wherever you want to go to get na, okay? Then go to that view. Para mo move mo mo siya up. Can you see? Right here, there. Here's 
So don't mind this one. This one is nasa likod mo siya. You see the thing there. It's supposed to look like this. So dapat inyo ang pag-overhang sa sulod. Same rectangle sa ano ha, sulod and sa gawas. So that's the case now. We have your Dutch cable roof. Um, Nalo ko na kalimutan. Ah, yeah. As of now, hindi ko happy sila ang anger. So, kamo na lang para if ipababa niyo pa sa ka like this. How long they are. And go down sa side to head. And so, Yes, almost, almost, but not quite. And these are things that I mean, I know you can do better. Okay, there's your Dutch cable roof. And for the last one, um, half hip. You can do that. Go to the ground floor. And two. Um, oops. Now I will introduce to you kind of RP. Meaning reference plane. It's just like um, a card, na kay mga drafting lines, mga light lines for just for a guide. That's your reference plane. It can be parametric, it can be powerful, same sa uh, dimensions. But as of now, this is just for a guide line. So you can even name your reference plane. You will know why later. So, mirror lang ako na para sure na ito nga. So, I have three segments outside and inside. So, I'll split them up in line. You can also use the marker. Then I'll take this, this, and this, the four ones, and without slip. Then let's pin me. I'll you what, I'll pin you what, and if I click OK, it will just look like this. But if I do undo, click this and click this, then put in an offset from maybe 1,000, one meter. Now it will look like this. A, what do you call this one? Half hit. Oh. Okay. So there you go. Tab to select. Attach top to this. Ta da! You can change your view. Realistic view. Yeah, it is. Shade it. I like the shade it. Okay, so next. We're done with that. I practice a new one and also do the other thing. Um, okay, don't stop until piyongan na lang ninyo. Next, we'll talk about the fascia and gutter. Ang fascia, it binds your eaves and roof overhang to give lateral stability. It looks like somehow like this. In our setting, there is a Philippines, our fascia board is normally hidden. Pero karon ginapakita na siya because ginapalabas na siya from the gutter. So, 
if you have the roof already, you can always do your fascia anytime. So maybe I'll use the hip one. Just go to roof, jab down the button, then fascia. You have a lot of choices here. Oops, so edit type later. So if na click na ni mo, I'm currently in an active mode, the fascia. You can choose kung nasa taas or sa baba. But normally, sa construction, actually, it really depends. It is um, outside on the upper part. Okay. You can see the I'll continue. And I'm warning you on fashion with the socket, you know, it's all the water. Okay, that's your fashion. So right now I'm not happy. Like escape my file, that's escape. I'm not happy with the height of it. You can always edit that. And or edit your own design the fascia. Okay, how will I edit my own fascia board? Okay, sorry, I'm in a chat. So if I'm not happy with this kining nawuha na ni na fascia board let's make a new profile the um, profile guys means kung saan shapes sa isa kabagay so you can use that profile anywhere you can use that sa gutter you can use that sa cornish sa molding remember sa sketch up the um, the profile is like the follow me to sketch up okay so we'll do that now file new create new family again family okay then when you go to your create new family make sure na naamo sa the um at our library and go to the metric profile metric profile we have lots of profile. You can see it's there. Nosing, railing, mullion, hosted. But now, since general ato ang profile, you can do this anywhere. Yeah. So now I'm in a new file using um, family. So click the line. Um, before you start your family, okay, before you start your profile, make sure you have the height or the thickness in your roof. In my case, I want, it, I, want, huh, I want it to be 300. That's the normal thickness normally in the gutter or fascia board or even the thickness of the roof outside looking. So I'll just follow. So I'll type 300 for that. Maybe... This is my face. I want a modern one. Super duper duper modern ng kind of pagkapasha or pagkagater or profile. So I like that. Okay. Loading to project. No, I think I need to save that. Okay, but I'm not sure if sample files. I know. Yeah. Um, modern. Um, uh -uh. General. I am. I'm not putting fascia, I'm not putting gutter because this is just a profile. Okay, general shopping bag. So I load that into the project. Then nana na shadera. I go to the three D. Um, the sad thing about the fascia is that oh, you can always um 
edit this to your liking. Pero, um, like, ang ako ka lang siguro karon ay kung ako lang papiliyon, ipababa lang ako siya or ipapikin, maybe. So, I'll add, I can add a lot of family profiles, general profile about the fascia board, but it really depends on you lang yapon. Okay? So, ganina, I made a general profile right now for the gutter to siya. Now, sa fascia na po. Oops. Not help. But now I want to. No, 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 no. I want to go click. And now I'll make a fascia one. Na mas lampas pa ani because our fascia is mubu lang. I'll turn off my light. Loading the project and close. Asha, click on click. No, no, I can put 400 and up there. That's the best way for a magnimo family. Okay, let's go to the 3D. So, this one, I don't like this profile, so I'll edit type. Then the profile, which is here, I'm going to edit the whole type. You can choose it here na since I said load into project. Remember, I made the general profile. There is also fascia 400 mm. So if magbuhat mo profile, it's always here. Tanana profile, it's gonna be here. So masing daghano ni mo family you can just choose whatever fascia you have. So I chose the 400 one, then click OK, then apply. So it looks better now. Okay, you can even choose your material for that. Material, I want a wood. You change from material, guys, because I don't want it to be green the same as the roof. Para ma distinguish that. Okay. Oh, Sorry. Use render appearance. Yes, I want to use render appearance. Apply. Okay. Apply. Okay. Let's see. There. So that's my fascia. Now, can you like I can it So I'll just click that one. So there. So now with the gutter. Now we are in the gutter part. The gutter is only located at the horizontal parts of the roof. Okay, I'll explain later. Then limited lawn designs of gutter. So if you want a specific design, let us use the sweep instead. So let's use both. First, go to roof and then click the gutter. Then same with the fascia, you can just choose na counting gusto. There. So you have your gutter now, and it looks unappealing. And if you can see, guys, the gutter it can be here only, the horizontal parts lang sa roof. Pero during na part, delete na siya, cause technically it's not jod. Delete na kailangan ng gutter dere. Pero sa design wise, mongo, if you can see, ang gutter na to, it's all around para maserve ang integrity and purpose sa design at ang roofing. So that's the problem that we need to um, address. So tama lang na na gutter, we can even put down spot after that para i-continue nila to sa plumbing, so sa mga systems. But right now, since aesthetically, um, 
mura gusto na to maging aesthetically pleasing let's try the sweep one so sa sweep i'll go to the component this one before we always place component now we will model in place model and hit the casework okay you can name it um gutter one okay zero one and then click the sweep then pick a path meaning ane you can just pick kung asa ni mo gusto imong gutter mag hawid you know what's hawid mag hold so for me maybe since the gutter is here maybe the Tanggalo na ko ng gutter ha, cause I don't like it. Maybe iba ba para lang kung plumbing wise, I can do that. So maybe I put it here. Make sure it is in a closed loop. Dili ni siya magsugot. Mura siya palo ng gil. There. Zoom in the menu guys para mo make sure, cause we we are making a sweep. Then after that, okay. If you're happy, you can see this mura target there in mura plane niya. And after that, if you're happy, na ka close look na mo, click the check one. Pag click niyo, you, you're still in the sweep mode, okay? Ayaw mo escape, escape, escape. Madaot ang ano ang um, progress nato. So after you click the check, kasi na click na ka path, you can always sketch the a path ha like kanina, but I'd rather isul ko mo sketch. Um, we can select a profile, which is what we have done, Ganina. And maybe which one? The general profile. I click that. If I click the general profile, it will come out here. You can see. Okay. Pero, it's baliktad. So, what I do is. Um, treat this as an object so we can just flip there. Ingani man jo dahon po ka profile. Okay. Medyo gamay gani. Gamay akong profile guys. Dapat 400 mo. Or sige na lang. Ah, let's see. Tama man gaya gapon. So, click the check. If you click the check, it will come out like this. And I have my gutter. So, kung i-detail na to, let's say, I'll go to ground floor. Asa ba na area? Hip, here. Mother. Let's finish mo dahil sa. I'll save muna. I make a section, guys, para makita nyo na to kung na I got there because the detail is so good. Okay, there. So na na to mga gutter gutter dera. Okay. So now dili na sa na to i abaya na sa na to dili na to below yun. Oopsie. Oops, element is reverse cancel. No, lagi na. Anyway, so that's our section. Okay, na. So, dana tag time. So, now, are you happy with this? Then, since easy naman to atong gibuhat ganina, okay, square lang siya, or what you call this, um, flat lang, horizontal. Let's go sa medyo complicated na part para mag sweep, like this one. So, imagine na na kay fascia. Okay. Na humana ni mo. So what we do is edit component, modeling place, again, casework. Um, gutter 2. And sweep. Slash follow me. Pick a path. And just pick it all in to one loop. Then after that, click check, select profile again. 
whichever you want na po. If may nga siya, guys, don't panic. I, pwede na to siya to tuyo ko. Click the rotate, press the place, then let's see. Medyo tricky to me siya, but... Hmm. Ah, okay. I'll do this, then flip there. Then check. On checking mo, it will look like that. Okay, we're done with the sweep or the gutter. So you need, you can make your roof as aesthetically pleasing as possible. You can make your own profile. Kung modern ba yung gusto or dagang giring giring, that's fine. You can even put um karang sa sulod wherever kung sa pamandaghan pa kayo pwede, okay. Next, finish model. Check. Next, and say next. <clears throat> now, we're going to make complex roof styles using massing. Text. Um, in place massing, it means you, you can explore design ideas by using shapes to conceptualize a building concept or model. So before, if you remember, if we're always making walls, if we're always making um, floor, we're going to have a natural, what is it? Limited to its form. Why? Because of what is rigid. Whereas when we're working in place massing, we can do this, even the roof. What we did in our roof is medulated fluid. So you can do this fluidity um, through in-place massing. So when the conceptual design is complete, you can use it as a building element, as building elements such as roof walls and the like. So let's start. Um, should I use this one? I'm thinking. Mag-new na lang ta guys for the Google save. Save it, maybe close it all. Any questions? Chat lang. Pardon, Saba Isagawas. So I'll get new. I'll click the new. It's for the purpose of practice. Whoever na gusto na mga complex ang ilang um, roofing, then we do this. Let's go to site, site beta, or 3D maybe. We're going to put a view na pwede no. Go to your massing insight. Or I can use a massing insight. It shows na thing by view setting. Kung naka light bulb siya, may naka show in yung mass. Kung wala, wala. Ang mass ng good guys, it will not show, not unless buhaton mo siyang building element and you will get it later. Mag-get sa inyo later. So karoon, i-show sa ano ito ang mass. In place mass, let's make um, roof number one. Name niya yun yung mass. Right now, medyo rigid sa ano roof, pero complicated na roof. Let's try to make a um, complicated na roof. Right now, naka-model ta. I click. Pag na-click ninyo na yung rectangle here, mugawas ang mura plane. Kung asa na plane ka nag-draw. Okay? Pwede ka na saag o na wala. Then, after I did that, I just create a form. To make sure the forms, first create lines, and then select them. Yeah. Now, I think I'm going to click on Okay, I'm click on model. Sorry. Okay, click the model line, and then draw on work plane. Okay. Sorry, Marta. Then if I do that, create the form. Oh, I'm going to draw Oh, 
In place mat, the mass nine on a modern line. So form. To make three D forms, first create lines and then ah okay. I select the inaco. I select. <laughs> Then create form. Then you can choose kung suka flat lang or solid. So I want to solid. Then finish mass. And after that, kunyari, this mass that I made. Mm, I conceptualize ang daan kung unsa ang shape sa inyong walls. Okay? Kaning mass, this is just a practice para mag-get sa inyo ang um, roof. So before mo mag to roof, make sure na nalang mo yung dimension sa inyong um, walls. And that dimension will be this mass. So next. And na ko may anapud ko imalit. Okay. Select, create form, isolid na lang. Then after that, choose kung flat or not. I choose this. Maybe pasaka pa. And after that, I will not check the finish mass because I will make my reference for me to make that kind of roof na murag complicated. Okay. Then 3D snapping chain. Ang 3D snapping yun yung mag um mag click lang siya sa mga 3D. And what else? Okay. Kaya lang ko pa work on the plane. No, not on the plane. Yeah. Okay then. Make sure na check in your 3D snap para mag pag mo check ng 3D snap. Make sure na check both ha kaya nagbaling balhin siya na matinala ko. So let's make a random um, I don't know roof more of weird kaya ng uso good karo na na kaya Modern. There. Kini ako. Wala siya gable ko niya. Then after, pag na na ko yung guard, kaning mas na kong gibuhat this one, the big rectangular prism there. This is just for a guide sa kong roof na gibuhat. Munang dapat kabal mo sa mong dimensions in your room. So I'll delete that, leaving this reference line and my roof. Alone, kana lang. Kana ako roof, kana kita ko design, na naman. Then I'll select this part first, this face. Control, okay, then click. Then create form. Pag mag press ka create form, mag choose ka kung tumurag 3D na tumurag um, mo ulbo siya mag pull or the flat one. So I'll click the flat one. Pag click ni mo medyo delete, klaro. Na siya yung mesh, there are tensile. Um, form. So maybe I'll check. I change na ko siya para mas klaro there. Then next is this one. Ito ko na ko niya. Because you cannot create the form as one lang. So isa isa ko niya siya. Plane by plane. So there. Right now, this is not yet a roof. This is just a plane form, a plane mass. This is not with materials or anything. So, what should I do? Finish mass na ba? Yeah, finish mass. 
Then, na siya warning na po na mass contains only mass geometry which can be used to compute mass floors. So, meaning, wala siya pulos not unless we will make this as a building component. Okay? So, I'll go to architecture, go to roof, roof by face, then your cursor will become this cube thingy. Check or um, choose your roof na gusto. Gusto na okay na kami face because mine is like more fluid. Then, select multiple meaning. Select kung sa'yo mong gusto yung roof, then create roof. So that's your roof. This thing na murag nag-glitch dira, it looks like that lang kay kana siya ang mga series of planes na murag nag-kumpul-kumpul dira because of the form that I made. Yeah. Na na siya. Kung i-render, dili mo na siya ng gawasin na na. So it looks like this versus site development plan. My roof looks like this. Then, how can it be a roof when well, I wall? So, I'll go to ground floor plan. Oh, wala man din. Sa development na lang. Then, create a wall. Level 2. I'll choose the finish face exterior. Because gusto na ko wala gable. This is my design lang, guys. Huh? Then after that, I'll go to 3D. So, it looks like this. Press escape. Then, choose. Then, attach top to base. There. So, my roof is the weirdest roof ever. But, kaya niya. Kaya siya sa wall. So, yeah. That's one of the complex roof. Now, maybe, this is more rigid pa man. So, medyo dito na puta sa flowy part. Can you image my sister? So I'll go to site development plan or even the ground floor plan. It's okay. Now the site development plan, go guys, because the site development plan you can see your roof. Tanan tanan even your site. Okay, so the site development plan to make a build. Just for you to explain. So right now, what's my first step? If I make a major fluid na Roof. For example, like this. This one is too OE. No, ako. I just want to put a simple lang na curves. Um, try to visualize first and try to practice. Then, pag magjogamay na niyo, mas maget sa niyo ang curve on the behavior sa spine. So I'll go to massing and sight. In place, uh, mass, mass two na po. Then, if I create na ko na, magbuat sa kung RP or the reference line, meaning kanang dili siya makit only for reference. Then I'll name this one, another one. What na po ko? I'll name this two, and another one. I'll name this three. Ginain lang na ko ang reference one, two, and three para dikta malibog. Then I want this to be. Um, equal together, equal together. So, equal and delete. Okay, then, no, not yet finished mass. Now, um, we'll do, we'll set, um, can you reference na yung nine yung yan? Atong gibuhat. Nana siya corresponding, uh, no, reference plane, rather, sorry. Nana siya corresponding plane, each. Okay, so we will set that para magdraw ta sa mga planes na naka. So for example, set name. Um, ginaman na tao tong reference plane. So we'll go first sa reference plane number one. If you click OK, mugawas ang go to view, maybe left side elevation. There. Um, then you want to show your plane kung asa. So kini plane na atong gibuhat na natakaron sa left side elevation. Ganin na nata sa side development plan, right? Mo na pa-choose siya. So right now, you are free to draw anything diri na plane kaning color blue. Don't mind this kaning white because or delete na lang sa anak ko. 
Ayan lang. So, after yan eh, magbuat na ta sa plane, sa reference plane 1. So, maybe I'll get this plane na lang. There. Next, mag-set na po ko. Reference plane 2. Kabalo na ko guys, kay mali atong view. Dapat nata sa right side elevation. There. <laughs> okay. Show. Gusto na ko ma-show ang ano. David cannot make the work. Let me just make that. Ah, okay. Wala pa ta nakaset. Hmm. Nakashow na mo. Then spline again. Okay, I'm happy with that. You can press enter. Then set na po to reference plane 3. Be crazy. Kung sa yung gusto na form, kamo man ba, lalo mo mo nang gusto. Then press enter. And then, kung mo press na kag enter, and go to the 3D, you can see three different lines na lahi-lahi. Wala po na finish mas, ha? Then after that, I'll choose these three. Pag choose ni mo, then create the form. Then your sheet will look like this. I didn't go crazy that much. You can always do your own. Na my own curve ni mo design. And after that, check the finish mask. The one again, mass contains mesh geometry only. Then our favorite part, make it into a roof. Great roof. There. Then same thing, I'll go to site development plan. Can itong weaving the part? Um I make walls, maybe. Level two, no, level one maybe. Top of the wall is lower than the base. Second of the wall. There. I go to three D. Um, attached top. So there, your roof is super curvy. Un did it imagine an understandable one? I want to change the depth. Modify roof. Wala de akong pagdapat. Mayroon akong kabalo tiyan. And I see lacking there four hundred. There, much of a garnish. So there is my roof. So are we done with the complex ones? Next, creating your side property line. It's getting harder and harder, guys. Just on going to come on to me. Okay. Hi. No look. No look, look, look. Creating your side property line. I'll give you FYI. This is your PA. This is your ah sorry. This is your um property line na kung ihatag para sa yung PA. Remember, nagbuat na mo PA two, de ba? Nagbuat na mo walls and everything with the setback na dapat iset bakan na niyo because this is the real property line na kung ihatag sa inyo ha, the coordinates, then i-input na to siya sa Revit karon. Okay. How to apply that? I-close na po na ko ni. I will not save this. <gasps> I-save na ko. Did I save it? 
Okay, so yeah, no. <laughs> Do you want to say yes? Number six, roof, complex roof. Um, make a new one. Actually, delete need a new. Um, I will put myself into your situation na nagbuhat na kuno o floor plan. So, kunyari, kanina pa kong floor plan nagibuhat for your PA2. And dapat, as of now, napasa na ninyo while you're hearing me. I'll open this. Kanya kong PA2. Okay, sobrang pangit. Kaya mo sa nako kong level. Is constrained, unconnected, and gentle level to lang na. Kung ano ni siya, random floor plan, nagisunod na ko sa PA2 requirements that we have. So if I go to the ground floor, oh, grabe akong pagsunod, no? <laughs> MV. So rough lang ni siya, guys. Oopsie. So imagine, this is your PA2 na yung gibuhat. Kanaan yung PA2. Then, i-input na nato ang atong property line. Okay? So, we will create our site. So, let's still go sa massing inside. Property line. Then, it will ask, how would you like to create the property line? It's create by entering distances. So, i-butang, i-input na ninyo tanan ang um, akong ipang butang dere. So, yan na nako siya. I-minimize na ako para pas-pas. Oopsie. Cancel sa or makit anako while doing it. So again, property line creating. So sa number one, the distance will be 12 meters. Or naka mm mangu ko so 12,000 south. Then the bearing is one degree space. Mag space na kung mag 51 minutes. Then space na put for the second. Pero wala na may second. So move on ako dere. It will automatically be one degree 51 minutes. Then west. Next, insert another point. One to two and a point one to two. Fifteen thousand one hundred meter uh, millimeter. North Tama eighty-eight space zero nine. Okay. Then west. Okay. Next twelve meters yapon. A bit perfect and a lot there. Five degrees, no, north, five degrees, three minutes, then east. Then sa last, if you can see, kaning 14.4, then last na ni siya. You can always type this one or what I normally do para super exact, add line to close. So, ang David na mag-generate og line, oops. Delete po yung sublime. Og ano, siya na mag-generate og distance and the bearing, which is almost the same. Not bad. Yeah, 14.4. Yeah. So, siya na mag-generate para ma-close. And then, if you click OK, it will be somehow like this. Okay? So, click anywhere. Delete pa ni siya maging um, final. So, okay na ning ato ang PowerPoint. Tere, I'll close that one. So, this is your property line. This is what you have done in your PA. Then, let's go sa site development line. Oops. Ah. Wait lang, guys. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Nino na ko'y mali. Because... Actually, not sure. I see. Okay. And in a long, I'll delete everything. Bear with me now. Nakatuna sa mga good siya. So, delete na ko siya mo emphasize sa inyo. Don't mind now sa ito. May tabo. Ito may tabo. Ako project na. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ay, buhato na po na ako. Skip na lang ni, ha? Ang kinsay na nino. Ah, 
ayo in mind to akong gibuhat na because di na ko siya mapakita sa inyo if mag-jump ko. Distance 2,000. So, 1, 2, 1. Five zero three. Okay. Then right. add lines, please. Let's delete it. So. Oh. Ani na lang, guys. Sige, kabal na ko para mapakita yun ako sa inyo. I close this. Hmm, magmi project na lang ko. Kaya mura na save na ko siya as my template ng good na mga motion flow. Okay. Let's say na empty na po nyo. Ground floor. Let's go sa site dev plan. Kung mag site development plan, make sure na naka-project north ang um, inyong floor plan settings in the site development plan okay so for the nth time what i could go okay guys i'm going to go i'm going to go i'm going to go paste i'm copy paste i'm going to rest i'm going to rest i'm going to Insert in hundred or eighty eight zero nine. Insert three three and then twelve one two three four five zero three east. Okay, then add line to close there. Okay, so okay. Pag I'm pressing you, okay. Guys, ayo in mind tong may tabo ganina. You know why? Because naka nakaset na mang good siya. So unlike you na wala pa nakaset for the purpose na wala pa jud nakaset, kini fresh from the start, start jud ta, fresh from the start. Start from scratch ta. So if ibutan niyo yung property na na input niyo ta, it will look like this. Okay? Our road is here. Kung asa ang road na nakabutang, you should put the project base dito sa part na kung asa ang pinaka third year, pinaka sure ka kung asa. It's hard to explain pero murag iugat ni mo part sa imuhang property line na sure jud ka kung asa nag-start or mostly ang starting point jud sa imong ano. So, I move this one and V Put it here sa project base mismo. Okay, position of the mode. There. So, and then, right now, as you can see, not as such, you know, project north pa ito ah. But this one is the true north. Kining property line na itong ginabuhat. This is the true north. So, if I go sa, ano, the difference between the project north and the true north is that on Project North, it is typically based on the predominant axis of the building geometry. So, kung unsang imuhang building, kana imuhang north, para perpendicular ta na imuhang roof and walls and everything. Pero ang true north, kana jud ang real world na north, kung asa ka sa GPS and kung asa ka sa Google Map, kana jud ang real world na north. Okay? So, as of now, kini atong site, naka true north ni siya dapat. So, since our site development plan is in the project north, kailangan na to i-rotate ning plane sa site development plan into a true north. Uh, it's so hard to explain, guys. Pero bear with me. Sige lang. I-follow na lang ko ninyo para ma-gets, okay? 
So as of now, um, can I, I copy na ko siya, CO, because I need two. So we have this one, property line na naka true north, and another property line na buhato na to na naka project north. Since the road is here, gusto na ko ako ang lote mag face na pa saka. Okay, so I'll um, rotate this, place, put it here, rotate. Then, i-rotate yun siya na kung perpendicular yun na parang pamabuotag mga walls. Dili good siya ano, how ang, ano. Dapat na dyan kay isa ka parts sa imong lote na straight or perpendicular sa imong project north. Then, i-memory sa inyo, 91.78. That's the angle na kailangan nyo i-memorize para pag-rotate na to ani unya, kanigi hapon, mubalik yapon dire. So, 91.78, okay? Isulat na ko. Klimtan na ba? So there. So you have two kinds of lots. We have the true north na lot and kaning project um, north. Uh, kaning? Project north na lot. Okay. So I'll make, I also add, nakamalim ka na i-add, annotate. The symbol, the north symbol. So north symbol, the north arrow. Can you ang more default na na, but I don't like that. So okay, I'll take on. Maybe I'll load one. Kung ita ang north arrow two, I won one. Then can you north arrow? I rotate po na ko niya ninety one point. Uh, seven and oh, two, 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 we are now in the project north. Let's change this now to true north because we will rotate the whole plane. Plane lang atong i-rotate But these two property lines, it will not rotate. Okay, so let's go sa manage. Manage mo to. Yeah, manage. Position, then rotate true north. So um, it will always place you the rigid na areas in your project um, one. project base. Then, pag mag-click ka, na from the perpendicular one, ibaba ninyo, i-type na po ninyo ang 91.78. Yes. Scramble, scramble na na siya, guys. Okay. So, meaning, nag-rotate ha, Malibog lang taan ni Karon that as of now, this is the true north. Okay, ang site development plan, this should be a true north. So, kung nabuhat na ninyo ni and nata sa true north, i-delete na ninyo tong naka-project north na yuta. Kaya nga, no, di na na siya need. Isa lang mga dapat ka property line. So, i-move na to ni MV. I-balik na to sa base point. Okay. Which is, ay, siya ulo. There. Then, ay, makabalo ka kung naka-true north is if nag-rotate po ang inyong arrow. Bali mong po siya. So, you know, ignoring the right track. So, can you true north? Now, if I go sa ground floor plan, then I'll change it into project north. Nakainga ni siya. So, whatever I did, ganina, I'll open ha katong katong PA2 ko no na kong gibuhat akin ni open so imagine na kanito inyong gibuhat sa inyong PA2 and go sa ground floor ani I just copy that control C lang yun 
Then add to ko sa inyo ang ground floor na gibuat na site. Then paste. Paste. So pag paste ninyo, I don't know where. So you can see na pwede ninyo siya ma-paste. Pero as of now, wala pa man ko nakabuat ang setback. So maybe I'll make one. Model line. Then, mag-offset ko. Oh, di ba 3 to 2 man to? So, 2 meters sa. Oh. There. Draw a line. Space bar para mag-shift ko sa sulit sa gawas. Ano na siyang gasmat man? Then escape ko and here. Then kung sa front, 3 meters man. There. Then trim. So kini lang ako ang ANBF or my building footprint. So ihaom na lang nako ako ng libuhat na PAMV. Sa inyo ha? Oops. So ayo na, it's okay. Dili man na kailangan kay ang setback ani irregular man atong lot. So there. So now that we have we have finished, you can know that this is nata sa ground floor plan ha. This is your project north, kay project base ta na kailangan perpendicular atong lines. And sa site plan, this is your true north. If magbutang na tag roof karon, ni bas basa na nato. Mag hip, hip roof lang ta. Uh, there. Check. The site development plan. Na nakai site dev na looks like this. Naka shaded ta of the wireframe na to. So this is your true north. Okay. So, same ground floor. Lahi mong north. Nadiri mong north siguro. Nihi naman need ang north sa ground floor. Hindi sa site dev naman. Okay? So, as of now, pilang ba ko? Naka ano ko? One and plus hours. So, that's it.